Hi there, Frontline Church family. Today's Moravian reading is John 10, 22 to 33. Jesus continues to unpack this theme of him being the good shepherd and we being the sheep of his flock. Now, today's reading is set at the Feast of Dedications, the festival of Hanukkah, the festival of, of lights, not a, a major Jewish festival, not even an Old Testament Jewish festival. It's an intertestamental period between Old and New Testaments, remembering how the Syrian Greeks had attacked the Jews, they defiled the temple, uh, and how God had miraculously kept their menorah lampstand burning. They had oil for one day, it lasted eight days, and uh, Jews celebrate that. This year, 2020, it will be celebrated on the 10th of December for the, the eight days. Anyway, uh, the Jews of this day were asking Jesus to make clear and plain what had already been revealed. His true nature as the Messiah, the Christ, the Saviour. And Jesus says, actually, for his sheep, that's obvious. Because his sheep listen to his voice and know his voice and follow his voice. They know who he is. And for me, that speaks of the difference between information and revelation. And revelation comes through relationship. Not, not knowing about Jesus, but knowing Jesus, belonging to Jesus. And, and for those of us who know Jesus, well, that is our experience, isn't it? We, we were drawn, we were wooed into relationship with this man. And as we put our faith in him with all of our questions, that stuff around who he really is, it, it just started to make sense. And then we read some lovely promises that Jesus, our good shepherd, makes. Jesus promises us, gifts us with eternal life. Jesus just promises that we shall never perish, that we've escaped future judgment and punishment. Jesus promises us that no one can snatch us, his sheep out of his hands. And that's not something based on our, our merit or our achievement. Jesus says we are the Father's gift to the Son. And it's based on the superiority of the Father. Not only are you in Jesus' hands, but we're in the Father's hands. Because the Son and the Father, and indeed the Spirit, are one. And, and when I was reading that today, it reminded me of the words of Paul in Romans 8. Nothing can separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus. Not height, not depth, not angels or demons, nothing seen or unseen, not COVID, nor Brexit, nor economic crash, nor isolation or lockdown. These things can never snatch you out of the Father's hands. They cannot separate us from the love of God in Christ. Of course, I do think as sheep we can wander. We can stray both from the flock and from the shepherd. But as I was saying a few weeks ago on the Sunday reading, Psalm 23 devotional, the shepherd will always pursue you in his grace and love. Now, reading it ends with a reaction. The crowds or some of the crowd, they pick up stones to kill Jesus for blasphemy, a mere man claiming to be God. But again, for us today who've been gifted with that revelation, who've been invited into that relationship, well, today we know who he is. So let's rest secure in his embrace. Amen.